All right. I really appreciate everyone joining our webinar today. We're going to be talking a lot about client communication and how uh, technology, specifically Good Shovel Pro, can reduce the back and forth with your clients. I know so many of the businesses that I talk to really struggle with this part of their business for two main reasons. One, they love working with customers. And so it's an easy part of your, especially sales, but even customer management process to get sucked into spending a lot of time with clients. However, it often takes up so much time because human to human communication is tough. And when I talk about introducing technology into your sales uh, flow to reduce the client back and forth, it is not to eliminate you as the business owner or any of your salespeople from building a relationship with your clients. In fact, it's completely the opposite. Our goal in leveraging technology to ease the back and forth with clients and reduce the amount of time that goes into the, those communications is to really eliminate a lot of the easy things that should be answered by your website, a quote and contract, or even follow up with your client. So the technology that I'm going to show you today through Good Shovel Pro is meant to streamline that communication and make it easier for clients to self-serve and more importantly, make it easier for um, those connections that you're making with the clients to become richer as far as what um, conversations you or your client are having with the team. Remember that your clients are really busy themselves. Maybe they're working or have kids or a boss that they're reporting to that needs, you know, information from them yesterday. And so it's actually a gift, not only to um, yourself in easing some of that back and forth and reducing the number of touch points that need to be made, but it's also a gift to your clients. And think about if you can create a sales process that reduces some of the noise, some of the superfluous questions or extra steps that the client needs to take to get an answer from you, the simpler you can make it on the client, the more they're going to come back and return to you because you've made that buying experience so easy. So we're going to talk about that, this in particular with um, Avalon Event Rentals, and they are a tenant event rental company out of Houston, Texas. And one of the main reasons that Yvonne and her team were looking to Good Shuffle was because they were redoing their website. And the folks that they were working with on their website actually recommended that Yvonne reach out to us. And so what Yvonne uh, discovered is not only is Good Shovel Pro able to fit seamlessly with her website, uh, but then also uncovered that, oh my gosh, Good Shovel Pro is also going to save me time here and make this easier on my clients. So we're going to talk a, a little bit in the front part of our time together today before we do our product walkthrough about some of the common administrative time sucks that go into managing your client relationship. And then we'll take a look at the automation that Good Shuffle Pro delivers. I really encourage folks to um, chat their questions in throughout uh, the session today. And if there's anything that is unique to your business or you want to explore later on, we also can have the opportunity to connect one-on-one -on -one, um, to talk about those particular needs. Um, and then we'll conclude by talking a little bit about when is the right time to make a switch in software um, and some of the things that you should look out for when you are considering a software like a Jumble Pro. Okay, let's jump in and get started. So one of the things that I want to talk through today is um, where your time goes, right? And there's kind of three questions that you need to manage in your sales process and working with your clients to uh, move the sale along or move the conversation along. A lot of that initially has to do with what do you do? What products and services do you provide? How much do your products and services cost? And where do you execute business? 
it continuously surprises me when I go to prepare for a meeting with an owner or operator of an event rental company, how often businesses don't have just this simple information on their website. And what you're forcing the client to do is make a phone call, make a best guess, um, and maybe that eventually turns the client off. I think a lot of event professionals, because they have this desire to be not only problem solvers for their business, but a one-stop shop, often are vague in what products and services they offer, how much those things cost, and where they can do business, because the answer is often, well, I can get the client anything and everything, and I'm willing to travel for a fee. And so what happens is you create this um, kind of limitless bounds to the products and services you offer. And unfortunately, what I see more often than not is that overwhelms the end client because they don't know what you're an expert in. They don't know how much you cost. And so if you think about that in the context of even making a dinner reservation or finding a place to get your pet groomed or um, trying to find a daycare for your child, if you don't have enough context, it's going to prevent you oftentimes from reaching out anyway. Now, maybe that's not always the case. Maybe you've got a strong referral from somebody. Maybe you read an online review. And so, of course, there are circumstances in which the client will reach out anyway. But more often than not, the end client is going to start imagining what you do or don't do in their head. They're going to start imagining and making up how much things cost based on the look and feel of your website. And so if that is not aligning with the products and services you offer, people are going to either think you're too expensive or too cheap than what you actually are. And then even localizing your business. There is a limit, I would suspect, to how far your items will travel um, in order for it to make sense both for you from a time investment and for the client from how much they're going to pay to get those products from point A to point B. And so oftentimes when I talk through um, with a business owner or operator, your new clients, I would start with a narrower scope. And then your clients that you build trust with and build a relationship with, you're always going to make exceptions to these parameters. You're going to go above and beyond for those clients because A, they trust you as a vendor and may be willing to pay you a little bit more to go outside your normal scope because you've built that relationship. But with those initial clients, make it as frictionless as possible for them to understand what it is you do, how much your services costs and where you do business. And there's a few ways that through Good Shuffle, we build uh, or we create the answers to these questions to be as easy as possible. One is through the website integration. You'll see when we take a look at the Avalon site today, Yvonne has all of her products and services listed. She's got pricing for everything. So she makes it really simple for the clients to do that initial outreach. She doubles down on that with Good Shuffle quotes and contracts that have photos of everything so the client knows, oh, this is exactly what I saw on the website. This is exactly what I'm paying for here. And she makes it very simple by having one link to give the client's instructions to approve the quote, sign the contract, and pay online. Furthermore, if there are use cases or um exceptions above and beyond what um, Yvonne can do. She can also customize email templates within Good Shovel. So if somebody did submit an inquiry through the website and Yvonne wanted to let the client know, hey, we've gotten your inquiry. There's more that we can do. Let's set up a conversation. She's also been able to customize email templates surrounding that. Okay. So answering the client, first we've answered, what do we do, right? Now you, the business owner, have that inquiry or have that request, and you have to figure out if you can do it or not. And this is, again, a lot of time, a lot of time goes into figuring this out, depending on the types of systems you have. 
you are going to need to figure out how much inventory you have, what other events you, you have going on, where the event is located. You've got all these questions that you're going to need to find out from your business. Is the business actually capable of this? And then also information from the client. And this is again, where a lot of the, like a generic contact form on the website is going to lead to a first conversation with a client that's often just very technical in nature, right? And I imagine if you had all of the right of, of information on the website, right, who you are, where you do business, how much your services cost, that this conversation of can you do it now becomes focused on okay, do I have the time and resources to do it? Is this the type of client I want to work with? The client gets to ask more questions about who you are as a business and build that relationship. And you get to ask kind of deeper questions of the client of like what it is that they're hoping to get out of their day and what is their big vision for the event? And is there anything special that they want to make their event unique? And those are the questions that you can get to when you have already answered the what do you do. Now we can spend more time on can you do it? And Good Shuffle builds in a lot of automation here. We've got the real-time inventory management. So you're going to know as soon as you've got an event date from the um, end client, do I have enough inventory to even make this happen? You're not going to have to like go into spreadsheets, figure any of that out. You're going to have an integration with your calendar. So you can also see what events are coming before and after that. Are there, is this a big, you know, graduation weekend, for example, where taking on a really small client is not going to be worth it for you? Um, or is this a weekend in the dead of winter where, okay, we're going to travel a little bit further than we normally do to make this happen. Um, and our Google Maps integration will help with that too. Not only identifying where the events are, but keeping in mind how much you may need to charge to go above and beyond um, your normal um, kind of range of service. And then there's the, is this happening or not, right? You The client has now to learned what it is you do. You guys have decided that you can do it. You maybe send a proposal out to the client and now we don't know if it's happening, right? Contracts get lost in the ether. Oftentimes you may be having to send out separate contract quotes and then create a contract and then a payment link. So it's like figuring out at what point did this opportunity fall off? It's reminding the client of your, um, kind of boundaries, right? Hey, I'm only holding this date for you for so long. Um, is the client going to ghost you? You obviously want to make sure that you are getting enough opportunities out in the um, marketplace so that you can use as much inventory as possible. So there's this balance of like, how many quotes and contracts can I send out to make it worth it without overextending myself? And then, of course, checking in with the client along the way to make sure that they're getting everything they need. And I'm curious how much time goes into managing these things. The phone calls from the client of like, hey, are you sure that this is what I'm getting on my contract? Or being able to know like if the client asks, hey, we'd like to keep these items another day or set them up a day early. Do you have the capability to do that? And then also making sure that, you know, hey, did you get a receipt for the payment that you need? Do you have a signed contract? Did delivery go as well? You know, making sure that the client is getting what they need from either you or your team along the way. And that's where Good Shuffle Pro, again, is giving the client a lot of visuals with the photo-driven proposals that we'll take a look at here with our walkthrough. And we're making it faster to move through this process. So a lot of times when I'm meeting with folks, either coming through, coming from a paper and pen system or coming from another inventory management system, this part of the process is way more complicated than it needs to be. And it always blows my mind. Good Shuffle is going to give you the option to send or the ability to send one link to the client 
And with that one link, they're going to say, yep, I approve this pricing. Then we're automatically going to have the client sign the contract. And then the client is going to make their deposit. There's none of this back and forth of like sending them a quote, hearing back from the client, then sending them a contract, waiting on a signature, then sending them a payment link. Oh my gosh, did they make their deposit? All of that gets done with one link payment link, one link to them, which is awesome. Both again, for you from a time management perspective, but again, you're dealing with busy clients and you want to make this easy on them too. And then of course, automating your follow-up. So you can see in the uh, screenshot here that Good Shuffle is going to have automated uh, quote reminders. Um, so we'll take a look at that today, but there's also more automation for like following up with a new lead from the website or once items have been delivered, following up and make sure delivery went well, asking for a review if that makes sense. Um, so we'll take a look at all of those uh, points uh, in the, the flow here today. Cool. So what I'd like to do is consider how folks are um, getting to know Avalon through their website. And then we'll go through the client journey, uh, preparing and executing an event uh, together so that you can see what that flow uh, looks like either for you um, or for the client. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and swap over to my second screen here. And we can get started. So on the Avalon website, there's a few things that I love that they have done really well. Um, one of them is just their top end navigation here, but they also have a clear like view inventory button. So if I know exactly where I want to go and I want to jump in right away, I can do that from here. All of the like let me show you here. Everything from here and above is going to be customized and designed um, by the client. So whether you have an existing website or you're taking a look and um, wanting to build a new website, you'll notice when you see Good Shuffle Pro integrated websites, they all look really different because you have your domain, you have control of the look and feel. How this is working is when I'm under the furniture category, for example, all of these inventory items here are pulling from Yvonne's account. And so this is obviously saving her time from a maintenance perspective um, as far as keeping her website up to date, but that's also allowing her more opportunities to make sure that all of her items are getting rented. And then she's done a great job at ensuring the photos are there so that people can answer all of their questions about, hey, what does this product look like? How does it look set up on site? What does this cost? Do I, can I use any alternates or what are some upsells here? Like if the client rents this, what do they also rent? I've now with one click of a button answered the client's four or five questions related to this single product. So folks are gonna be able to come in here, pick how many they need, the date and time of their event, and add it to their wish list here. Now, Yvonne makes it really easy. I love this top end navigation as well because the client is constantly reminded of all of the other things that the Avalon Event Rentals team can do. Again, when it comes to even renting her tents, I love how transparent the team is with their pricing. And then they also are really... Um, transparent with like what might increase the price from here, right? So in this case, if we have to use water barrels instead of, um, or uh, weights instead of 10 stakes, we may have to charge you extra. But this at least gives the client some expectation of where the pricing is going to get started. And then she also offers, hey, if you also wanted to upgrade with sidewalls or add barrel covers to your barrels, here are the other things that you need. So this makes it super easy for the clients to come in, pick the date and time of the event, um, build all of the things that they need, and then put together a list of who they are and where their event is taking place. 
Now I'm not going to submit a real inquiry on the Avalon site, um, but I did submit one on my demo site. And you'll see here that this is the um, confirmation that you'll get and the client will also get a confirmation as well. So this is one of those automated communications that Good Shuffle Pro can file off, fire off to your clients. You can customize this with like when they should expect to hear from you next, maybe asking for photos if the client wants to share any of the um, inspiration photos that are going along with their big day, whatever it is that you need to know to make um, their event happen, you can customize um, and collect that information here. Now for you, we talked about getting back to the clients as quickly as possible is gonna not only help you land more deals, but also surprise and delight your clients. So when we open this inquiry from Rachel Green, you'll see when I toggle into the client preview, this is creating a quote contract and payment link ready for you to send. Now, if everything looked good, your event date was clear, you had all this inventory, you could easily go in here, send this off to the client and turn around a quote within minutes. What Good Shuffle Pro gives you the opportunity to do though is double check that you have enough inventory and you'll see here, in fact, that I may not have enough of these Nova linens available. So here's the, where the inventory management really is gonna help you right away know whether or not you have this, can do this event or not. Um, there's a ton of great functionality within how Good Shuffle Pro tracks the availability of your items. We're not only considering when the event is happening, but load in, load out, how far away the other event is. Does something like a linen need to get through laundry before it can go back out again, which is where you're seeing um, this conflict overlap here. So I'm going to make a choice and say, hey, you know what? I'll make a note of this. I'll make plans for us to turn these around so that Ross and Rachel and Phoebe and Mike can both use these for their big day. Um, so because this is an alert on my end, it's not something that the client will see on their end. It's a problem that you will solve on the back end. Cool. Um, what else did I want to point out here? Um, so you have the ability to collect all this information. Oh, if you call the client, right? Maybe you're one of the folks that really does like to uh, talk with the clients uh, before uh, sending them a quota contract. That is absolutely doable as well. And I wanted to show you too that you have the option to make edits to this. So let's say that Rachel changed her mind and wanted a clear span tent instead of a normal white top tent. You can always swap out pieces from your tent kits. Um, same thing if you know somebody needed um, water barrels instead of steaks. Those are all things that you can swap out. You can always change the price of an item and even offer a discount if you want to. Cool. The last thing I'll point out, again, to reduce the back and forth, to help the client feel heard, you could always go and make additional um, sections here. So maybe the ceremony is gonna take place in the garden and that's where we're going to use the tent, but we're gonna have the reception in ballroom B. And that's where the linens are going to be used. So you can always drag and drop this in a manner that's going to make the most sense for the client. Again, it's going to help the client feel heard and eventually reduce the back and forth uh, with the client. You can edit and customize these email templates so that when you're sending them out to the client, it's not only in your brand voice, um, but you can make edits so that the client, you can refer back to, let's say, things, conversations that you had with the client over the phone. When the client receives this on their end, of course, this is all going to be customized to the look and feel of your business. And then when the client goes online, again, they have that one link where they can approve, sign, and pay. We know that, uh, like you, Clients are often very busy. And so, of course, this is mobile friendly for them as well. 
Again, they can see the photos on the contract. You can put descriptions here. Think about all of the questions that you typically get asked as you're trying to get a client to sign their contract. Front load all of that information on the contract. You now not only remove the client's need to reach back out and ask more qualifying questions or clarifying questions, but you're also giving them the ability, if things look good, to say, yeah, this looks great. I'm going to approve it. I'm going to sign off on this and then make their deposit here. So if the client is excited to move forward, why force them to reach back out to you first, right? If they're in the clear, collect that signature, collect that deposit and move on. Because it's one link, it also creates a lot of clarity from the client of what it is they need to do in order to move things forward, right? This process is pretty foolproof in giving the client a clear directive and next steps of what to do next in order to confirm. Now, we're automatically going to send um, receipts to the client and you once payments have gone through. We're also going to track all of those uh, emails here in your back in your view of the account. Plus, we'll automatically update the status of the contract. So again, when you're asking yourself questions like, hey, did the client sign this contract? Do I need to follow up for payment? You're not having to bother the client and follow up with them. You've got all of those emails. Instead, you could reach back out as Rachel's day gets closer and maybe upsell them or, hey, I'm noticing that the weather is getting bad. Do we need to add sidewalls? Whatever it is, you're now creating more valuable reasons to reach out to the client rather than just like managing the paperwork in the process here. If you're getting... Um, any back and forth with the clients, as I mentioned, those are all getting tracked um, here in the software. And what's great is any of the files that the client is sending, like inspiration photos, schematics from the venue, et cetera, those are all automatically going to save in the files tab for this event. So I don't know about you, but when I was on the planning and executing side of things, I was constantly losing um, emails. Like my inbox was just always flooded. And so it would have been so nice to have a system like Good Shuffle, where all of the details for the event are here in one place. Now, Good Shuffle is also going to help your team be set up for success because obviously when you're going back and forth with the client, you want to make sure that you are um, setting the execution team up for success so that the client feels heard and you're able to um, clearly articulate the client's vision to the folks on site. So not only can you set automated reminders for your team of, hey, what it is we need to do. Um, if let's say the sidewalls are only going on the side by the um, guests, you know, we want to keep a view open for bride and groom shots. You can give all of this detail here. So instead of those like little things that the client has mentioned to you as important, instead of that living in your head and you stressing about, did I tell this to my team? Did they get the update? Whatever. This all lives here in one place. And again, you're not having to go back to the client and ask them for additional detail because you're tracking it all here. Um, the last thing that I'll showcase as far as like making sure that you're checking off that things have gone well with the client is if you do events where you aren't maybe on site with your team every time to execute, we have this digital receipt of goods and services. And so the team that is collecting and delivering um, on site, they can have maybe as, if it's Rachel's planner or the bride themselves, they can have um, the client sign off on this, right? Directly from the event site. And it's going to automate a follow-up to the client. So you, the like owner of the client relationship, can 
check in to make sure everything went record according to plan, right? In this case, I'm asking, hey, if you had five-star service from my team, would you review us here? If it wasn't a great experience, please tell me before leaving a bad review. Um, so this is how you can get ahead of those client communications. And again, automate that follow-up in a moment like this, where the importance of sending that email is high, but it's more or less going to say the same thing. Um, I'd really lean on um, that as a metric for, hey, is this some a uh, place where I need to spend time? to customize or can I automate this because my process looks similar every time. Um, that's generally a great uh, metric as far as um, figuring out where to automate versus where to hang on to that one-on-one -on -one relationship with your client. There's plenty more uh, to uncover about Good Shuffle Pro, but I want to make sure that I am um, kind of talking about next steps and where to go from here, we can dive in deeper if you have more questions beyond the kind of client communication lens with which we've talked about Good Shuffle Pro today. Um, there are different tools that you have for uh, reporting, for tracking inventory, uh, for executing events within the software, for um, making sure that items get where they need to go. Um, and so if you need those questions answered before moving forward with Good Shuffle, great. Let's set up some additional time to connect. If you're feeling like, man, I really needed a way to streamline my client communication, reduce the back and forth, help me get paid faster, and you're feeling like we got, you're going to get enough value based on what we covered today, then I would encourage you to take the next step with us. Um, you know, I think Yvonne shared it best, which is, a, a paper and pen system is not going to work, um, especially the larger and more complex that your business gets. And so my advice and takeaway to you would be, if you are considering a switch to Good Shuffle Pro, that the best time is now. Your uh, uh, challenges are only going to compound after today. Your The complexities of managing your inventory are only going to increase as you add new pieces of inventory, um, as you get into a busier and busier season, as you hopefully hire more folks on your team. And so we'd love to work with you to try the, the software out hands-on. Um, and if you'd like a link to get started with a trial to really kick the tires, I will drop that link to get started in our chat. Um, if you're watching this recording, I'm also happy to um, email that to you. So feel free um, to shoot me over an email to mallory at goodshuffle.com and I we can connect um, if you need to ask additional questions. I'm so excited that you joined me today to understand Good Shuffle Pro through the lens of streamlining communication. And I look forward to the opportunity to show you all that Good Shuffle Pro can do uh, to help streamline and scale your business.